Thank you for joining us for this Targeted Oncology Virtual Tumor Board, which is focused on advanced adenocarcinoma of the lung. In today's Targeted Oncology Virtual Tumor Board presentation, my colleagues and I will review four clinical cases. We will discuss an individualized approach to treatment for each patient, and we'll review key trial data that impacts our decisions. I'm Dr. Benjamin Levy, Assistant Professor of Oncology and Clinical Director of Medical Oncology at the Johns Hopkins Sydney Kimmel Cancer Center Sibley Memorial Hospital in Washington, D.C. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Gregory Redlinger, an Assistant Professor of Pathology in the Division of Translational Pathology at Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey, Dr. Paul Pack, Clinical Director of the Thoracic Oncology Service and Assistant Attending at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York, New York, and Dr. Ann So, Director of both the Mesothelioma Program and Thoracic Chemoradiation Program, and a Professor in the Department of Thoracic Head and Neck Medical Oncology at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's get started with our first case. So we'll start uh, our first case with a uh, patient with locally advanced uh, squamous cell, non-small cell lung cancer. So the presentation is as follows. This is a 69-year-old male that was referred to pulmonary, uh, pulmonology for symptoms of dyspnea and productive cough lasting four months. And in addition, he complained of mild dysphagia. Um, he is a current smoker. He has a 40-pack year history. His family history is consistent with a mother who died of uh, uh, cardiovascular disease and a father uh, who had uh, emphysema. Uh, the past medical history is consistent for hypertension and systemic lupus erythema, SLE or lupus, um, that's been well controlled on no medications. The presentation with physical exams, the patient showed pallor, uh, decreased breast sounds on auscultation. The blood pressure was 100 over 60. All of his laboratory findings were within normal limits. Uh, the patient, due to his uh, symptoms, has a CAT scan uh, that reveals a four centimeter mass in the right upper lobe, extending into the right main bronchus and invading the mediastinum, enlargement of the bilateral hilar and subcarinal lymph nodes. Uh, the patient undergoes a bronchoscopy with EBUS guided biopsy of the pulmonary mass and hilar lymph node, and the pathology is consistent with a grade two squamous cell carcinoma, and his stage is 3B. Patient has a brain MRI that is negative uh, and uh, goes on to receive a surgical consult uh, and the surgeon uh, deems the patient to be unresectable. Patient's ECOG performance status is one. Um, due to the unresectability, the patient is started on concurrent chemo radiation and receives cisplatin etoposide as the chemosensitization backbone with a thoracic RT and achieves a partial response.